guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have a scrawler box unboxing, but this time it's the scrawler blanks which they've just introduced. So yeah, let's open it. There's a tap on the top here. And let's open. Oh wow, look at this. How cool this is. So they've got a sheet here that says scrawler blanks pencil case and a list of all the supplies and everything that's included Ooh, look at this, we have some nice white wrinkled paper so with these so we have pencil case very nice let's get some supplies out Sheet here. And that's it. I'll just move these out of the way. I've just tidied up a bit, so <laughs> we'll open it now. Let's open it. Okay, these. We also got two Tic Tacs. So we have a scroller blanks pencil which I think you'll be able to custom in fact I don't think I know we will customize it we also have a bunch of Posca pens oh yes we have the black and white that's going to be very useful here we go got all these and it also comes with a scroller sticker but it's blank so we get to customise it that's brilliant and obviously here is the pencil case get enough room in there and then obviously when you close it down like this it's a bit smaller so yeah and it also includes some paper which I didn't know so we'll be able to draw our design on here and customise something. Alright, let's do it. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to swatch all the colours. Just to get a feel of what tones and things I can get. Right, so now I've swatched all the colours, I am just going to do a nice gradient on here okay so now that I have swatched all the colours and everything I'm going to take a picture of this apple pencil uh, <laughs> apple pencil <laughs> this pencil case um, both sides and I'm going to mock up something on my iPad and colour swatch everything and see if we can get a nice design and then we'll draw on it. I'd taken a picture of the pencil case and started coming up with some ideas and I decided to go for a doodle approach and um, I thought that would look really cool so yeah just a bunch of random shapes objects and stuff like that and then went over it with a thick black outline and then added the colours and I really liked how it turned out alright so here is the finished design and now I've got to somehow get this onto this Right, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it's actually transferred onto the sheet. Not really. Oh dear. All right, so I've had to hand draw it on because the transfer didn't work. <laughs> so it took a lot longer than expected 
but now I think we should carry on and finish it. Hi everyone, it's voiceover M here. So let's talk about this. Well, my plan was to do the graphite transfer, which is where you have a design and then you cover the back of it with graphite and then draw um, the lines over the lines with a pen. It's supposed to then transfer, but I think it's because um, it was on a softer surface. I did put like a piece of card inside the pencil case, but it still didn't work. So I ended up just having to do it freehand and luckily that worked out okay. Um, now the colouring was pretty tricky because the markers started to bleed on the fabric. You'd put the pen down and it would just run. So because the pens were a 5M nib, it was difficult to get inside of the lines. But I guess I could have come up with a different design or made this one a little bigger. I also used a different black Posca pen because I thought the one included was a little too thick. So yeah, I used the 1MR which is a smaller version. I did have to go over some of the lines again because it was like the pen was running out. A little bit like when you use pen on watercolour that hasn't dried and then you have to keep swatching the pen to like reactivate it again. But this pencil case has a pretty large area to cover which is why I think they included the 5M because yeah you'd be there forever if they like sent smaller smaller Posca pen nibs so yeah that is um, that's probably why we have the sizes that we have because you just colour the whole thing in <laughs> but I obviously went for like a different design um, so yeah for the design I opted to go for a doodle style which is something I love doing I don't know there's just something cool about it and every time you look at a piece you always discover something that wasn't there before well, it was obviously there, but that I might not have seen it the first time round. I only decided to customise the one section because I felt like doing all of it would be overkill, but that's just my artistic opinion. I like to keep things nice and simple. That's what my construction teacher used to say to me. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> I'm definitely glad that I mocked up the design on Procreate first because it made it so much easier. Usually I just wing it and because we had a limited colour palette I felt it was important to get it right, otherwise I think I would have not ended up liking it and then kind of like just ruined the pencil case. But yeah, I'd like to know your opinion on the scrawler blanks, they obviously have other different things like a sketchbook customization and a mug customization and the pencil case and they also have a scroller pin which is now customizable so yeah comment below what you think about the scroller blanks do you think it's a good idea do you not think it's a good idea i think it's pretty good um, i'd like to see some more products in there as well and i'd also think what would be really good is if they provided like a fixative in the like a like a small if it's possible a small fixative spray bottle so once you've done your design you can just spray it and then it's like set um i don't know if that would be cost effective or not but yeah i think that'd be a great idea okay so that's all i've really got to say about this piece um and this video if you did enjoy it please leave a like um, I'll let you listen to the rest of this to music and I'll be back at the end to talk to you. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. And just like that we have finished the custom pencil case. Uh, yeah, I think it turned out alright despite um, the struggle. <laughs> Um, I decided not to do the back side or the bottom. I kind of just liked it like this. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Comment down below if you've got one of these scroller blanks. Um, I'll leave a link to their website if you want to get one. And yeah, subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.